What's up everyone, it's Risky Rabbit, and today I'm going to show you guys how to put these on your 97 to 2001 5th Gen Prelude. Alright, so to put on these chrome dial rings, a little add-on, you know, for your odometer, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, preferably a mini one like this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you have a, a lever here, this lever right here, to lower your steering wheel. Lower your steering wheel all the way down. Once you do that, you're gonna remove these screws right here. Two screws. When you remove those two screws, you're able to pull this out, this black cover. It should just pop out. I'm gonna try to pop it out for you guys. Okay, you heard it? Bam, that's two little pops. Alright, so it should just come out just like that. Alright, so right after you remove the four screws, you're gonna, uh, it should be free. It should be free to, to come up. Okay. There you go. So now you have, I don't know if you can see it, you have three cables back there that you gotta remove. So I'm gonna remove those three cables, and your dominant should be free. Alright, so I just finished unplugging the three clips that are in the back, so it should be free to go. There are your three clips. They go here, right there, that's one. Alright, so now that you have the odometer out of the car, what you want to do is to put these rings on the, on the odometer. You're going to want to open it up. So you have these little clips all around the odometer that you have to pop them up. So we have to pop these up, okay? Okay, so now that you have this clear plastic off and this all comes off of this, you have the, you have the original rings that go inside of this little fitment, I guess you wanna put it, you wanna say it? So this right here comes off easy. It should come off really easy. See, it comes off. Those are the old rings that I painted and I ruined. So and here are the new rings. I already started putting some of them on. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so now we have all four rings installed, okay? All you gotta do is reverse it back, whatever you did. So we put I put back the the four original screws. Next, we're gonna put the plastic cover. And yeah, I'll show you the finished part. All right. So if you did the whole procedure right, this should be the final product. I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. Make sure the instrument cluster lights up. All right. Everything's working good. And there you go, folks. That's how you open it up and change your rings. 